I, About I saw your hand. You saw someone's hand? Seven. I saw Wesley's hand. I haven't looked at my hand. I, I know what you have. I, <laughs> it's a weird spot. 30. I'm just gonna. Well, if you're gonna play, then. I fold, I fold. Just, I. I oh, sweat, sweat, sweat. You already did. I know what you have. I know what you have. Seen it already. What? Sorry. 30 to go right now. Yep. I know. Thanks. You know what? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you, you. You make a good point. You make a good point. I don't think he understands. So raised from Hank, a three bet from Wesley. How funny would it be if Doug's like, I, I know Wesley's hand, and then he just like, if he's like, I haven't looked, and he just mucks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really. <laughs> don't know what Dwan has, but Dwan, who just got bluffed. Is going to four bet. No, but do you have a the yellow card? How about Rob? Rob, do you have a Rob? Do you have a button? No. Do you have one? No. Okay. No. Oh, three people left. <laughs> now this hand is weird for a couple of reasons. One, we're playing stand-up game. Two, the whole thing with Doug Polk saying, I saw your hand. So a three bet from Wesley to 30,000. Tom Dwan, who according to DGAF earlier has been playing a pretty low variant style, has decided to four bet to 100,000. And these players are deep. And Doug is watching because he knows what Wesley has, and Wesley has just five bet to 275,000. Action back over to Dewan. $387,000 in the pot. It's one seventy-five for Dwan to call. Again, we don't know what Dwan has. Small blind takes like a minute and a half. Limps. <laughs> Big blind takes a minute and a half. Min raises. <laughs> blind plays the same way to the river. River, finally the guy bets. Small blind bets. The guy uses like two time shifts. <laughs> Calls, top pair of top. This is like, I'm just like, no, I'm not coming. I'm not playing more tournament players. <laughs> I thought those come to London because I've got my 200,000 tournament. Are they invitation or anything? I thought those come to the shot clocks now, though. Yeah, they were using their shot clocks. The point was, even with the shot clocks, they, they were just exactly like, they the maximum amount of time they were going to use. Oh, they're like max. Do you want on the left side of your screen? Wesley on the right side. Invitation. Invitation. This is good and pro. $250,000 buy in. One man to allow. Pound? And there's the call from Dwan. If you're not watching, come back to your screen right now. Over half a million dollars in the pot. We haven't seen a flop yet. Eight, eight, three, two diamonds out there. Wesley does have the ace of diamonds. Duan started the hand with about 1.5 million. Wesley has him covered. Oh, you know what they should do? They should just. Rex, those guys are good. Never leave the poker room. You know what they should do? They should just play like businessmen and amateurs. Or in pros separately, all the way down to a final table each, and then combined at like two tables and redraw and they play How it much out. Maybe they can play them longer, yeah. Hey, I think guys, this is a really big pot. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Okay. About one, two, five. Wesley just asked Juan how much he had behind, and that got the whole table quiet.
Wesley bets 125,000. Whatever Dwan called with pre-flop, I can't imagine him folding on an 883 board to a $125,000 bet. 125? That's what he bet. That is the bet. Here's the call from Duan. Pot now, 812,000. Duan with about 1.1 million behind. Turn a blank. Wesley's hands are shaking. And it looks like he is loading up for another bet. Remember, Doug Polk knows what Wesley has. Tom Dwan, though, does not. Three hundred and fifty thousand over to Duan. Pot has got one point two million in it. The table has not been this quiet for four days. 1.2 million in there already. If Duan calls this. We'll have one of the biggest pots we've ever seen. And still a river to come. And there's the call. The river's a six. Wesley with just ace high. Check. Duan checks it one more time. All in. There's the all in. He said all in? He said all in. For sure? Well, I guess. He said all in. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get a water. <laughs> Pot has got 2.3 million in there. Wesley is just triple barreled with ace king. What the fuck? Doug saw his hand. This is a weird fucking hand. Doug saw his hand, try to talk him out of three betting. Three bet anyway. Mm. 
I mean, I guess he just flopped an eight, but it seems very hard to fold. Oh! I'm gonna feel dumb when you roll over like eight, seven suited or some shit. Maybe nine, seven suited. What the fuck? Tom Dwan has been part of some of the biggest hands in poker history, and once again, he is here on our stage. Just under 800,000 to call. We've got 2.3 million in the pot. You could just have the aces. It just doesn't seem like you have the aces. I'm gonna feel dumb if you do. From everything Dwan is talk saying, it sounds like he has kings. What the fuck? Look at the size of that pot. What the fuck? Feels like he just flopped to fucking trips. Five bets pre-flop. Wesley bet the flop, bet the turn, and has moved all in on the river. We've got 2.3 million in there. Feels like you just flopping fucking trips, huh? He's got queens. There's the call! Hey, call? Call. Tom Dwan has just won the biggest pot in the history of televised poker. $3.1 million. What did you fold, Tom? You might not take my place after today. That's true. You're terrible. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, I don't know about that one. What do you mean? The last time he did that to someone and then offered to run it, he had queens. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And that was like... Oh, no, Wesley. Well, I mean, I you wanted me to tell you that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I would have said okay. Hank now with the monster. That is a good move. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> was <laughs> First time I played with Rob. First two different, two different times, just like hand. mundane mm -hmm. shit happened at the table. And I, I said something, he's like, no, it didn't. I'll bet you 25k, you're wrong. And I was like, I right, backed the fuck up. I'm like, 25,000 is a lot of money. You're right, Rob. I'm sorry. And this one's like, no, Doug was right. And he's like, oh, really? And then they went back. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. And you did that twice in the same session. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I guess we're accepting these $25,000 bets. Because like when, someone, when you say something, someone says, I'll bet you $25,000, you're wrong. Yeah. He's you just been the sleeping you really all know. night. Unless it's like, for example, not having a flush driver's tongue. Then you know, you can just bet 25000 He's been what's our, sleeping. What's our like, note, Christian? General. Anytime the sleeping guy four bets us after raising under the gun, he's got a strong hand. Why are we five betting the sl Mr. Sleepy? <laughs> oh, man. I almost this, why are we five betting Mr. Sleepy? Uh, cool. All right, cool. here we go. I have a feeling this this one's going to end a little differently than Tom's Queens. Big pot energy here. I'm feeling it right now, Christian. Hank, been sleeping for about the past two hours, finally wakes up with a big hand. Pocket Queens gets five bet against Wesley. Out of position. What's he going to do here? Hank certainly does not look like he has 
we know the point. Like, like a motion to fold. Right looking at the number, you're like, cramp. Right. <laughs> and he continues with a call, and we see a flop from Lauren. I agree. Like when you look directly at the glitter, it's kind of like harsh. This is a really nice chip. Like, I really the five like Ks and the one Ks here are great. Five Ks are my favorite chip yeah. I've so probably ever. Is Hank ever thinking about six betting here, Christian? I mean, the man is down two million, so maybe you just think he's going to jump out the window, but. I think we see a flop. When you write the memoirs, out on a limb with ace seven of hearts, five betting. His opponent reaching for chips, not exactly what he wants to see. Caught escalating, five bets, 267. Lauren, please. Oh boy. Wesley makes middle pair. He's repping Kings aces. You can see air ball. It's gotten silent, realizes. A serious hand going on here. Comes with a little less than third pot. Queen's going nowhere. Did he show you Queens? Yeah, after he showed it. Oh, that's fucking funny. My five high had a good chance. Expect Hank to check call here, but nobody ever goes for a check raise. He's got the overpair, very deep stack, out of position. <laughs> I might have just taken kings and mucked them if I wasn't down 700k. <laughs> So how much would you make it with aces? Oh, oh. he finds the turn seven. How do you feel like kings? How do you feel like kings? Hank now on the ropes. Why? Super disguised trips. I mean, I'll be honest. If you had folded, I was going to consider... Tables already like, seen Wesley oh. launch it off with ace-king in a very similar situation. I almost Hank, pocket queens, just like Durr had earlier in the night. Spades only. Spades only? What a card. This pot. Okay, so if I had... Brewing. Quickly. Kobe's in hand, loading up. But like in theory, that's Big bet. That's a large wager incoming. I feel like people say five four is pretty good. Little over three hundred. Three and a quarter. It's a serious bet. Stacks being threatened right away. There's only five hundred eighty four back in Wesley's stack. Decision time for Hank. Can't necessarily put his opponent on a seven. The only hand that beats you right now, a seven suited, pocket tens, pocket kings, pocket aces. Can't think his opponent is five betting tens too often. You're really just concerned with kings and aces the majority of the time. Little does he know that turn seven changed everything. Table talk has subsided. How much have you had? He has 100k, 5k in the back. Hmm? I'm talking to the dealer. Can I count how much behind? I'm a little under six. Back. Uh, six hundred, all right. A little under. Hank 
tank deep in this tank. All these inquiries, music to Wesley's ears. I could hear a pin drop in that room. Hank was trying to get some kind of read on Wesley now. Thinking more about it. Obviously earlier, like I said, he already seen Wesley have Ace King and launch off the $1.6 million. Giving ample time as these decisions are worth millions of dollars. Looks like he really wants to fold. getting restless. Hank looks paralyzed right now. Trying to pick up a read. Look at the stare down. Wesley really not giving up much. Block. Doing the same pose as he did earlier with Ace King. This time, nut it up. Would he really do this again with Ace King? Hank rolls his eyes. He's wondering the same thing here. He calls. We're off to a river. This pot is $1.1 million. Wesley with a hammerlock. Diamond. We have roughly half pot left. Check. Hold it. Snap shove. Wesley. Turtle. Wesley prays he doesn't get snap called there by a flush. <laughs> Where is the fucking Tom the one? Tom. Hank needs his vice. <laughs> Hank wanted you to be here while he's facing it all in. That's all. He just wanted you to be here. Fuck you. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly the same line. <laughs> that part is true. Five bet, 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 shove. This is like the greatest year ever. I don't see Hank on for me. I don't see Hank getting away from this one, Christian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be careful. Hold on, guys, please. The hand is still going on. If he calls here, this will be a 2.3 million. Dollar pot. Mm -hmm. Five eighty six. Yes. Hang. Can you do it twice? <laughs> Three thousand. Fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. One hundred. Rewinding the hand from beginning.
you do it twice, uh, it's impossible. But good read, Hank. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, not not the Doug. Red or black. Call. Call. He calls. Two. Wow. 2.2 no! million and a celebratory scream from the art. artist Wesley Pure says art. art. Eight, seven. Two million pop. Okay, bro, sit down. Oh. Pure art by Wesley. <laughs> Hank was trying to dream of his win, woke up to a nightmare from Wesley. Oh, the line is like epic. <laughs> The line is epic. Speaks to him in Chinese. I didn't understand a damn thing. One of the second biggest pot in Hessler Casino. Live history, $2.2 million. Goes Wesley's way with the A7 suited. And Hank cannot believe his luck, Christian. Hank down to 476000 You have $1.8 million. Wow. Oh, Wesley now. now. now you, know, you, you really worry about have A7 suited or 97 suited? Seven, I was very worried you had like A7 Wesley suited. all yeah. smiles so now. You less head. You only beat Ace King Did or. You, really, huh? you, you know your read on it's his okay, just on Chris his River Jam? Yeah. He was definitely, he definitely considered the flush there. He, he thought it over pretty, for a while. Cool. Yeah. For like, what was it? Was it 1.2 seconds or was it more like a 1.8 ball? <laughs> <laughs> you do it to that head. No, oh, I, 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 I'll, I'll slap all in anyway. I, I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, the flush got in. Most people would like be like, oh, there's a flush. Flush? It's a five-bed pot. There's low flush. Don't, don't mind me.